Aloha, I'm John McDermott, the State Long-Term Care Ombudsman, and we're with the Executive Office on Aging in Honolulu. And we're in, in the Big Island right now because we're trying to recruit more volunteers to visit our seniors in our nursing homes, care homes, assisted living facilities, and community care family foster homes. So now you're wondering what exactly do our volunteers do? Well, we provide them with 28 hours of training before they're certified, and then they go to a facility once a week, anywhere from two to four hours, and their job is to be an advocate for the resident. Violet Bonier, I'm the State Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program Representative and I'm here to visit with you to talk story. So they talk story, uh, do it privately so nobody else can hear that conversation and find out if the residents are happy with the care that they're getting, do they like the food, uh, are they getting their clothes back, are they allowed to have visitors, um, are there enough activities to keep them busy, everything that makes the facility less of an institution and more like home. Sometimes people confuse our role with that, the Department of Health. Their job is to inspect facilities and they go in once a year. Uh, our program is nothing like that. We don't go in once a year, we go in once a week. And our focus is really on making the facility better. So when we're talking story to the residents and then if they give us permission to investigate and, and talk to the administrator about the concerns that they have, our job is to make that facility better. So we're almost unpaid consultants. We want to make the facility better. We want to make the residents happier. We want to make sure that everybody's getting good care. I hope you're interested in our program. And if you'd like more information or if you'd like to volunteer, please call me, John McDermott, State Long-Term Care Ombudsman, at our office in Honolulu. The phone number is 808-586-0100. Mahalo. Aloha and welcome to Behind George Yoshida's Camera. First, we'd like to say mahalo to all of our fans from throughout the Big Island of Hawaii. Thank you so much for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise, and we certainly appreciate your loyal viewership, support, and encouragement. Next, we'd like to recognize Wayne Subika, my friend and a local sports historian and Plantation Memories book author. Please call him at 959-4769 if you're interested in purchasing one of his books. Next, we took our cameras over to the American so Cancer Society, where they were presenting awards for the Outstanding Volunteers of the Year. The awards were presented by Jim Ferguson, the president of the East Hawaii Advisory Committee. Winning the Business of the Year Award was Alan Ikawa of Big Island Candies. Uh, the Quality of Life Award was won by Karen Tishima and Ellen Kusano won the Income Development Award and Holly Hochi Dupont was presented with the Prevention and Early Detection Award. The group also recognized Kathy Hashimoto who is the Cancer Society's Income Director for ESOI for her outstanding work in coordinating the fundraising event. And don't forget this year's Relay for Life event happens on July 16th and 17th, 2011, and call the American Cancer Society office, East Hawaii, at 935-0025. Next, we'd like to invite everybody to attend the Older Americans 2011 Awards Luncheon, which is scheduled for May 5 at the Hilton Waikoloa Kona Ballroom. Tickets for the event is $25 per person, and free transportation will be provided to the first 300 people signing up. This event is sponsored by the Hawaii County Office of Aging. Call them at 961-8600 and sign up today. Next, we took our cameras to join the Prostate Cancer Support Group in their annual Valentine's celebration. The event featured much camaraderie, great food, entertainment, door prizes, and awards. My partner Derek Kurisu prepared some delicious shoyu chicken and healthy tofu salad for the event. Everyone had a great time and went home with a lot of prizes. We'd like to recognize and thank Al Malingas for chairing the event. Next, we'd like to invite everyone to join in the March of Dimes 41st March for Babies event which takes place here on the Big Island, Saturday, April 9, 2011, beginning 8 a.m. at Wailoa State Park. 
You can help us join this walk and participate to help moms have healthy pregnancies and save babies' lives. For more information, please call Eden Patino at 987-0118. So let's have some fun and we'll see you at the March of Dimes Walk. Next, we'd like to inform everybody about a special wellness fair scheduled for April 8th at KTA Poinaco stores only from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. There'll be all kinds of health checks, including bone density, blood pressure, diabetes screening, and medication checks, and it's all free. And next, for all of you who are too lazy to cook, Hey, please come into KTA because they are serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's easy, delicious, and it's very affordable. The menu changes daily, so please check it out on KTA's Twitter account. Finally, we'd like to ask all of you to help us support our high school sports programs by participating in KTA Superstore's 5th Annual Sport Up program to generate $50,000 for travel and sports equipment for your favorite high school. It's so simple. Just purchase items with the Sport Up logos and part of the $50,000 will be donated to your favorite school. And that's it for Behind George Yoshida's Camera. And before we go, we'd like to once again recognize George and Shirley Ito, our volunteer camera crew, and thank you so much for watching us on Seniors Living in Paradise. It was an exciting day. I went to Big Island Candy searching for my friend Mika. Mika and I decided to play one of our favorite games called Papa Said. So we are going to do something very funny today. We're going to play Papa Said. Mika, Papa Said, smile. Please. Open your mouth. Papa said, touch your nose. Okay. Papa said, grab the Mika means. Ooh. Papa said, get the Mika passion fruit candy. Ooh. Wow, new item, yeah? Huh? Oh, this is very delicious. Papa said, grab the chocolate covered McNut. Coffee coated. Ooh, that's a new item, yeah? Okay, Papa said open it. Oh! Wow, look at this! Oh my goodness! Papa didn't try to eat it. Oh, Papa didn't say that, but that's okay. But you know what Papa said? Buy your gifts and candy from where? Yes, Papa said, there's two new candies, toffee chocolate covered neck nut and Mika passion fruit candy. Both of them taste... Mmm, oishi! Mmm, oishi! <laughs>